You're seeing those pictures of Fidel Castro. For so many, he represents so much of Cuba's past. Uh, we want to dig a little deeper here and talk about the future for Cuba, particularly for young Cubans. Nicole Lappin is here, and she keeps us, uh, well, her fingers on the pulse of what young people are doing and what they are I thinking. I try to help you out Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank I you. I do what I can. Uh, <laughs> the question is, do young people actually want change in seeing these pictures? Can they find it? A buddy of mine focuses on just that, mm. youth and Cuba. He started a national nonprofit called Rasis de Esperanza, Roots of Hope. Felice Gerardo joins us live from Miami. Felice, help Tony and I understand, is Cuba, in Cuba, is Castro still relevant for young people there? Well, thank you so much, Nicole and Tony, for having me on the show today. I think the reality is that these pictures are irrelevant. They don't do anything to meet the most basic needs of the Cuban people. Um, and the truth is that under the current regime and the current uh, government, uh, the Cuban youth aren't able to actualize their potential, aren't able to freely exercise their most basic human rights. They aren't able to study what they want or say what they want without repression. And uh, the truth is that they can't also make ends meet based off of just the, the basic average salary of 12 to $15 a month. Even with subsidized health care, education, food, and housing, yeah. that doesn't make it enough. So even if the Castros, as you say, aren't considered relevant, their financial restriction, Felice, of course, as you know, are still very much in place. So can anything actually change? Well, youth hunger, just like you and I, to be able to actualize our dreams, our hopes, and, uh, and to be what they want to be. And the, the truth is that they will overcome any financial obstacles to be able to do that. Um, but the truth is that also making only 12 to $15 a month, uh, the most basic necessities are sometimes out of reach, yeah. as well as luxuries like these, like, like cell, cell phones. Phone. Yeah. Uh -huh. exactly. So we see these pictures, Felice, uh, but you're showing us a different picture of young people on the ground. So if it's up to them, what will the next regime be? Who will be in power from our generation? Definitely. I, well, I think it's actually up to the Cuban people to define. Um, but what I think they hope for is uh, not a regime, but a government that, uh, that they have elected, one that respects all human rights, both their political and their social human rights, and one that gives them the ability to be able to make a better life for yeah. themselves and their families on the island. Felice, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much for giving a sense of what That's young good. people are doing in Cuba right now. Tony, just a snapshot of what the future could be if yeah. it were up to young Cubans yeah. like Felice in the States or on the island. Well, that was good. Uh, thank you, Nicole.